Hello, everyone. Welcome to QNet Live broadcast. I'm your host Sam, and today we're going to talk about something new, which is not our QNet NAS. Well,、uh, the story goes like this:、uh, we are a NAS manufacturer and a global brand,、mm-hmm. so、uh, we have NAS, but、uh, the technology like growing very fast.、Uh, in the past, we have files maybe like、uh, several hundreds of gig,、uh, megabyte.、Mm-hmm. It's already enough. But now,、uh, like 4K videos and raw picture files are getting more and more popular, and more people are getting used to use all of the files. No matter it's a, stu- a media studio or photographer or or something else, even movies we have Blu-ray. So the <coughs> files is getting bigger and bigger. So uh, uh, we heard the voice from all of our users that since. Qnet NAS already launched new models that with built-in 10G port inside, and we have the 10G 10G card, external card with PCIe for users to、uh, add into their NAS. But we still hear some one、uh, last problem that they don't have 10G switch, so they have to buy their 10G switch for from other brands. So since we hear that. And okay, we want to serve our customers all around the world very well. So today we invite our PM Ken, which also who also、uh, has you know like put a lot of effort and uh, uh, over time working day and night, <laughs> night and day. Finally, we have the new Q、uh, switch, which is、uh, on the topic like QSW twelve zero eight AC. Which is a Tenji,、uh, Tenji、uh, management switch. Yes, <coughs> and、uh, today we will bring you not only this one but also another version of our、uh, Q switch. So uh, uh, the topic today will be like, we will show you why the Tenji、uh, transmission speed is getting more and more important, and then、uh, we will tell you what products that we have to serve all the customers, all the users that need higher transmission speed, and then. We will give you some insights, like、uh, how we develop the Q switch and what are the process while we、uh, manufacture that. And then the last thing is we will show you some、uh, system structure usage for all the users to know. Oh, if I、uh, also can use this Q switch under the same、uh, internet structure or not. So、uh, welcome again, Ken. Hi everyone, I'm Pian Ken. Okay, so we will get into the slides, and Ken will show you very clearly about everything. Okay. And if you have any question, you can just leave a message below. We will check ASAP and reply you. Okay. So let's go to、uh, the slides. Okay. Go to the slide.、Uh, mm-hmm. Today we're gonna do announce the, our new product,、mm-hmm. the Q Switch,、mm-hmm. and we have、uh, two model. One is a twelve zero XC, and another one is a eight zero four four C. Of course. Then what this means for is a twelve zero X. We have a twelve SFP port、mm-hmm. and also eight、uh, base D port,、mm-hmm. and eight of that is a combo port. Then another、uh, product is a X zero four four C. Then、mm-hmm. we have a X SSP plus the、mm-hmm. four at、uh, base D port,、okay. and four of them is、uh, the combo port.、Mm-hmm. So here is、uh, our topic today.、Mm-hmm. I'm gonna to present、uh, what is the market trend,、uh, marketing trend of the ten G network, and、uh, I will do some Q、uh, switch introduction. Mm-hmm. And then I will let the our audience know what is the how we build the、mm-hmm. uh, Q switch,、okay. and then the last one is ah、uh, what this Q switch can use yeah, for of what type of、uh, architecture and element.、Mm-hmm. Okay, as I know,、uh, as we know, like like now、uh, in the past we are mostly focused on one、uh, G Ethernet,、mm-hmm. uh, and like now a lot of like ah、uh, 4K video or low file is getting bigger and bigger、yes. and. Uh, if you want to transfer a fifty gig Blu-ray file, in the past we you need like allow like uh eight minute,、mm-hmm. and now with the uh switch uh you can save your time, and only like fifty second you can transfer uh one for a fifty gig uh Blu-ray file. Yeah, it's like almost ten times of the yeah, speed, yeah, right? Yeah. So. Uh, in the market right now,、uh, I have a lot of uh different uh ten G solution. For、yeah. example, the Nokia uh issue the one router uh,、mm-hmm. 
also support the 10G mm -hmm. and also uh, Kinect ourselves, we also uh, launched uh, the expensive card with like uh, uh, one, uh, one gig uh, base port mm -hmm. and this uh, model can put inside the a PC then let the PC upgrade to the 10G solution. Uh -huh. And as, as we know like <clears throat> what is the value of the 10G environment? If you have a lot of like uh, 10G so, uh, product such mm -hmm. as uh, our QNET NAS, mm -hmm. uh, notebook, uh, uh, NAS a notebook or PC, if mm -hmm. you have this kind of uh, 10G product, if you want to enjoy the 10G speed, you will need a switch in the middle of to convert this kind of data transfer. So the switch itself is the barrier to mm -hmm. on this 10G environment. Okay. So that why we uh, it launch a new product, the Tenji Switch, to mm -hmm. our market because uh, our NAS user, for mm -hmm. example, who bought our NAS right now, already have the Tenji inside. Of course, so they may have worry about how to increase uh, the network speed. Yeah. <clears throat> so here we come up the, our new product the Q switch uh twelve zero eight XC and eight oh four four C these two model. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what is the uh feature of these two model? This uh switch is a uh, management switch. Mm -hmm. For the twelve zero eight XC have a uh, twelve port you can use up to twelve uh port ten G port. Yes. And another model you can use up to eight port. Okay. <clears throat> Then this is very easy. You just plug in and play power play. on and plug in and you can use it. Okay. So this is a detailed spec of the 12.0.8xc mm -hmm. model and have a four SFP port mm -hmm. and also eight SFP and base T combo port. So that means you can use like up to 12 uh, mm -hmm. port. Like I buy one switch and I can enjoy two of the connectors, yeah, the yeah. ports. Okay. Then another model is a uh, four SFP plus the uh, four combo port. Mm -hmm. Then this is a major difference between these two model. Mm -hmm. Then so and we also have the LED uh, LED in in front of the uh, to let the user know what the uh, status status of the system. Mm -hmm. For example, they have the status uh, indicator mm -hmm. and the green light is system is ready and for the amber color then. Maybe the system have some problem. You may need to check on it. Then, for the uh, network itself, have their own. Every port have their own indicator okay. to let the user know what kind of speed is using right now. Mm -hmm. For example, if you plug in the ten G device, then the light is uh, green. green. Then another one is if you plug in like for the PC only one gig, then your light will show an uh, amber color. Okay. Yeah, sure. And. Uh, this uh, product design, this have a uh, two fan. Mm -hmm. That means uh, if you want to let the heat mm -hmm. outside of the model, uh, if you use a single fan, the, the fan speed will become very yes. uh, noise. noise yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Then if you only use, uh, if we provide two fan, that means mm -hmm. the, the user, uh, the fan speed can only like half of that then yes. it's very slow mm -hmm. can take up uh, the speed then the noise will become low okay yeah. and then here yeah, we also uh, provide the red man black for the user right here right yeah we have two <laughs> so and this is the standard in each of the switch package right yeah yeah okay then if you put into the it one on mm -hmm. the lab then you may need this uh Close to mm -hmm. mount to the red. Okay. Yeah. Then we this is in, inside the selling okay. box. Okay. Yeah. And here is the comparison between these two switch. As mm -hmm. I mentioned before, that these uh, two series have four SSD plus. Mm -hmm. Then the difference is the one is eight combo port, mm -hmm. another one is a four, four combo port. Combo. Then we also support the jumbo frame. Okay. Yeah. And up to nine K package size. And uh, for the base T uh, connector design, we use a uh, multi giga port. Mm -hmm. So that means this uh, base T port can serve 10G, 5G, 5G, 1G, or 100 mm -hmm. Yeah, that means that if you connect to the 
different device, then we will auto detect and change to the compatible uh, speed for speed, this right? device. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, the next one is that as as we know, uh, we are the next ma uh, NAS manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, we serve a lot of the different NAS model. I know we have a lot of this kind of NAS model already include the ten G four. Mm -hmm. That that means that. For example, as you see on the list, we have like uh, SFP Plus series and mm -hmm. we also support the base D series. Mm -hmm. Then all is a 10G include internal 10G series. Yes. And another series is like the analysis that you can uh, bought the expansion card, then mm -hmm. get upgrade your NAS to the 10G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, 53BE, those kind of series, you can simply buy this kind of like. Like 10G, yeah, 10G mm -hmm. expansion, uh, expansion car. car, yeah. So, this I mentioned before, like this is uh, our QNET own mm -hmm. model, uh, the 10G expansion car. We have like different uh, model on it, mm -hmm. and this is a 10G network car. Okay. And another one is uh, very famous is our QN2. The QN2 can support the M.2 and also have the 10G, 10G port. port, yeah. Okay, then why we, uh, as, as you see in the front, uh, mm -hmm. we serve a lot of SSP port. Of course. Yeah. Uh, for the 12.08 mm -hmm. and support uh, 12.12. 12 yeah. Then because of our, most of our NAS series is uh, provide the SSP connector. So mm -hmm. the user can, uh, we, provide, uh, we provide the enough uh, uh, port for them mm -hmm. to easy plug in uh, to use. Okay. And also, we also have a, our expansion card, for example, mm -hmm. the Menalog series, mm -hmm. and they have a dual port, 10G port, then mm -hmm. also the SFP port. <coughs> okay, then, so later on, I will tell you like what is uh, our, mm -hmm. how, how we build this okay. uh, 10G switch. Okay. okay. So, at, uh, this is a, they have three steps to build uh, this product. Mm -hmm. In in the front, at, at the first step, uh, we need the hardware design, we need the software design, mm -hmm. and this is the, at the development period. Mm -hmm. Then we spend a lot of time in uh, verify the this product. Mm -hmm. to, we need to provide a good quality mm -hmm. for our user, mm -hmm. so we spend a lot of time in verification. Then the, the end uh, is the production. Then I will show you how our factory uh, built this product. Okay. So uh, for these three phases, I think you spend most of the time doing phase one and phase two, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah all right. Because if we cannot develop a good hardware or software, uh, I think uh, the product won't like, be... We need to provide a stable... Uh, uh, stable good stability quality. and the quality are uh, both. We have to make sure they are above the standard so yeah. we can sell to all of our users because mm. we are you know like a brand and we <laughs> have to do things well so mm. let's start from the hardware and software development okay in the development period mm -hmm. actually this uh 10g switch is mm -hmm. the hardware mm -hmm. and also have the software inside mm -hmm. for the hardware when we think about uh, how to uh, build this product we, we are looking at the mechanical mm -hmm. and we choosing the what kind of chip mm -hmm. we want to use and also the power supply is very important the mm -hmm. fan the mm -hmm. connector mm -hmm. and also other spare parts mm -hmm. and for the right side is the software, software. then the major one is the main system mm -hmm. the switch uh, mm -hmm. function then the mcu mcu is the microcontroller unit to mm -hmm. control the hardware for example control the fan mm -hmm. speed the mm -hmm. kind of stuff is belong to the software okay. after the, the, this have been done then so, we spend a lot of time in design verification. Yeah, design the verification. Then there are three steps uh, how we verify this product. Mm -hmm. First is the reliability test. Mm -hmm. Then the second one is test the function and mm -hmm. the performance. Mm -hmm. Then the third one is uh, interoperability. That means the uh, compatible okay. that have uh, issue. So. At the first one, the reliability test, uh, we have a burn-in test. Mm -hmm. Then we put our machine in uh, 
uh, test room. room. Yeah, test room. Then we test it. We use the uh, network tester mm-hmm. to send the package to those kind of uh, every port. Mm-hmm. Then we test for a month mm-hmm. to make sure this every port is very stable Works and very didn't drop any okay. flame. And for the hardware verification, we do the vibration test mm-hmm. and also the short test. Mm-hmm. And we also run the uh, AC power on on mm-hmm. on and off test. Then we can uh, test up to a hundred times, a uh, thousand times. Okay. Then a very important is the number four is the acoustic noise test. Of course. That means that we want to provide a very quiet uh, product to our user. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we also spend a lot of time to adjust the fan speed, uh, those kind of things. Then the last one is the uh, thermal wow. measurement. Then we, we have the chamber, mm-hmm. then can set the temperature to different uh, temperature. temperature. Then to test the machine can run a property in different okay. uh, temperature. Of course. So this is the uh, This is uh, the thermal, thermal measurement. Chamber. Yeah. Then the right machine is a tester. This is a Sina equipment. Uh-huh. Then this is a network test to test uh, the every port. We send a lot of package to different port. Then we set the environmental chamber to mm-hmm. different uh, temperature, for example, 25, 35, 45, or 55. Okay. Yeah. To make sure this machine can run properly in different environment. Then the second one is the hardware verification. Mm-hmm. Then we have the vibration, uh, vibration test. Right. Then to the like, shaking, uh, X Y G, yeah, up mm-hmm. down, and then shock the shock test. test is like suddenly move the machine. Then this is our test machine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have our own test machine to okay. test the different uh, hardware. Okay. And we also run the other verification such as the power test, signal mm-hmm. integrity test, the operating temperature and humidity test also. And uh, the third one is the dropping test. Then we four like, corner. yeah, four corner test, uh, AC four corner test or DC four corner test. Mm-hmm. And the transportation test to make sure the product delivery to our customer is good. Okay. Yeah. Of course. And we also run the other mm-hmm. uh, like very related so after we gone through the we go through the hardware hardware, software and verification testing we will go to the second phase right yeah after everything has been set then have been done then we Mm -hmm. go to the functionality and performance to make sure this uh, switch can have a good performance okay so we have a network functionality measurement mm-hmm. and also the real production test okay. and the simulation test. Mm-hmm. Then how we do the network functionality test, I will let you know like we have two test equipment. One is a uh, one Sina. brand is Sina and another brand is Newstream. This these two machines one are also very yes. famous uh, okay. in the in the world. And here, here this one uh, we do uh, we use this uh, test equipment to run the uh, standard uh, IFC 2544 and mm-hmm. IFC 2889. This two is a standard protocol to make sure the switch uh, can be test properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we also uh, do the long term stressful test. Then we spend like a month use the machine to always send the package okay. to different port. Then one one month test to make sure the product is very stable. They didn't drop any frame. So what is the standard? Zero frame, frame drop. drop. Yeah. Zero. Yeah. Okay. Strict enough. And then uh, this is our field <laughs> test. We, we, so it's a few nine. Yeah. Because uh, we want to put or we put this uh, device in mm-hmm. our IT lab mm-hmm. then to re- use in real production. And also, as we know, we have our cloud lab mm-hmm. in Xingzhu. Then we also put this machine to test uh, different use environment. So yeah. basically, if all the machine pass the testing in QNAP IT lab, they can use it in yeah, another yeah. company yeah. or enterprise, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. you're right. Why? And because then, we are big. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have a lot of people in this uh, building. Okay. So can, every uh, test can be can be verified. Yeah, can be verified. 
and then uh, we have a uh, one video lab mm-hmm. because uh, mostly in the market a lot of people want to uh, update the environment environment to Tenji because they need most of that use for the video editing so yeah. we have uh, one video lab to test uh, different software and mm-hmm. hardware mm-hmm. and when they do the video editing it it is enough performance for them to okay. run this kind of uh, use okay. yeah okay and this is the compatibility test then we uh, uh we send the uh, machine to mm-hmm. test the different international certificates mm-hmm. such as fcc cpsmi mm-hmm. and also the ccc and others also okay yeah and then the com- um, compatibility test then as we know we have our a lot of different NAS. Uh, NAS model which is a uh, 10g, 10G. include and also we have a uh, different um, expansion card yeah. then we do a lot of this kind of test to make sure this switch can compatible with uh, all the yeah, other products yeah all the okay okay so, so uh, before I jump into the manufacturing process mm-hmm. i will show a video to let you know like how our factory to okay. build this kind of uh, machine so uh, we will play the video and the video is in subtitle Chinese and English together. And while we play the video, Ken will introduce uh, each of the parts for you to understand more about how we produce everything. Yeah. Okay, so let's play the video. <coughs> okay. As you know, we, we have uh, our own factory. Before you go into a factory, you need to wear the clothing. Okay. And this is the SMT machine. And to put the, you know, the panel. Yeah, the panel. Uh, build the other board. And this is a very uh, good equipment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then it, it's very long uh, change. Like every... Very, yeah, so much, yeah, so, so many so many stations, like stations to, to, to put the, the SMT stuff. Yeah, this is a, one of the expensive uh, model. Is the speed is very fast. Yeah, this, this is our new equipment. Yeah, for the switch. No, not only for the switch. Okay. This one also can build the. Uh, okay. Yeah, we all use the same. Uh huh. Wow. I yeah. think I feel like I can never <laughs> afford it with. This in my whole life. This one is pretty good, yeah. And this one is the tip machine mm-hmm. to put the connector, mm-hmm. yeah. Then to send to the this one is called tip machine mm-hmm. to uh, how to say that to put the connector to on the, to the other panel, uh, yeah. By heat, yeah. Uh, is the I don't know how to explain. Mm-hmm. This is the <laughs> then this is the assembly room. Then how we uh. Uh, build everything build together, everything together and then, the yeah. <coughs> then after assem- uh, assembly then we will see like this is our phone mm-hmm. and we do the verification yeah, for the verification, first time yeah. so the first time is to find if there is any of the machine <coughs> Work 100% yeah, we test every part. Every part. Yeah, SFP or base tip part. You see, right like now that's, it's a that's new stream, right? Yeah, um, this is our test equipment. Then we test every single part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then after it passed, then we send to the the next the one. Burning. We send to the burning room for 72 hours. Then we use uh, <coughs> the NAS to test okay. every part and can work properly. And this is uh, like a uh, 40 degree uh, burning room. Yeah. So after after, after the opening, thing, then we also do one time uh, uh, one one uh, again another the, test. Yeah, another test to see if the ports yeah. work okay properly. Yeah, then at, this one is the packing. Okay. Then put all the equipment inside the box. <coughs> so we have two time for the port verification. Yeah. Then after that, it's ready. <laughs> okay, then back to the our slides. Okay, this is uh, our manufacturing process. Mm-hmm. For, at the beginning, the SMT assembly, assembly. then the uh, IOP test, test, then the burning, then IO post test, mm-hmm. then packing, QC, and shipping. Okay. Yeah, we want to make sure uh, the product 
uh, to enjoy to, yeah, to all it, our customers. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, we will check for some something else. Okay. Like we have the IO test. Uh, this is, uh, as you see, we have two, uh, two IO sure. tests. One is uh, before the burning and another one is Post after test. the burning. Uh -huh. And we use the uh, test equipment to test every single port. Okay. So as long as that is not zero frame drop. Then we, we need to check about it. Yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> then this is the burning test. Then mm -hmm. we put all the machine in the forty degree mm -hmm. uh, room. Mm -hmm. Then to use the uh, NAS to test the pop. Okay. Yeah. Then after that is the packing and mm -hmm. quality control. Mm -hmm. Then, okay. Then later I will show you like uh, how this series use case. Yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> we have known that now QNAP has our own. Uh, Q switch for 10G transmissions uh, speed, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. you can imagine that if I, if now my usage of the NAS or my uh, studio, my office, my home internet structure, uh, am I the right person to use the Q switch, or do I still have to wait for mm -hmm. a longer time mm -hmm. to see if I am a good, uh, I'm the fit one to use that? So we will show you some uh, structure and the environment mm -hmm. for you to understand. Okay, maybe I can now do the change to my switch into the mm -hmm. QNAP switch. Okay, the first one is the uh, the home or the Soho. Soho. Then if you need the ten G environment, mm -hmm. you only the only thing is you just change the switch. Mm -hmm. Then at the top is the router. Mm -hmm. Then behind the router is a ten G switch. So the Device which under this switch can serve up to 10G. For example, you have the PC with the 10G expansion card, then the 10G notebook, even mm -hmm. our NAS, uh, different serial NAS also support the 10G. Yes. Then okay. if you change the su switch, then you can enjoy the 10G environment. Yeah. Then the next one is that, uh, as we know mm -hmm. right now, uh, a lot of uh, cable in the world they are using the 5e mm -hmm. but <clears throat> if you only change the swi switch then you you can simply update uh, upgrade, upgrade the network mm -hmm. to 5g because okay. the cat uh, 5e only mm -hmm. support 5g the mm -hmm. high speed is 5g mm -hmm. but if you want to change uh, yeah, enjoy the 10g environment you may need to change the cable to cat 6 or 6a or and above. Above. yeah okay. and then the next one is like as a, as i mentioned before like now a lot of uh, environments are using a cat feed mm -hmm. mm -hmm. but you just simply change the switch from uh, giga mm -hmm. to okay. our Q switch, uh -huh. then you can enjoy the uh, 5 gig. Okay. Uh, can, uh, the network speed can uh, serve up to 5 gig. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pretty simple, only change, change the, the switch, switch and yeah. everything will get upgraded to upgrade, 5 times yeah, faster. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so next we will check for the env uh, environment for enterprise. Yeah, for the enterprise, uh, if you on, if you have a different department, mm -hmm. then you also have the IT lab. Mm -hmm. Then you you may need a lot of different switch. Then mm -hmm. you can buy uh, a lot of switch. Then put to different uh, department. Mm -hmm. Then all these department can serve up to ten G because uh, this is a very affordable mm -hmm. uh, switch for the user. Simply mm -hmm. bought it and enjoy the ten G speed. Yeah. Okay, so check right here. We can see a camera. So uh, all the viewers, if you also have uh, your own surveillance system, uh, so you can also use our NAS as a, like our QVR yeah. port as an MVR. Yeah, for example, in this diagram, like for example, you have different NAS in different uh, location. Mm -hmm. But if you want to back up the data from mm -hmm. the different department mm -hmm. to our IT lab, mm -hmm. and you may need because speed. It's very important. Yes, of course. If you less time to copy or back up the data, then you get more protection. Yes. On it. Yeah. So uh, this. So how do we? How how many switch do you need? One, two, three, four. Okay, just several of our Q switch. You can upgrade your all enterprises into a high speed yeah. transmission of mm -hmm. your environment of your internet. Okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay. Then. Okay, so I think. Uh, that's all for the new 
product of QSW 1208AC and mm -hmm. uh, 804 for C. So once again, we introduce uh, these two products for you with the naming rule. 1208 means uh, we have 12 SFP plus port. Yeah. And uh, 0A means we have 8 uh, RJ45. Yeah, also called base depot. Yes, and then the AC, which means the eight of the ports are combo. You yeah. can choose uh, RJ45 or SFP yeah. class. If you connect to mm -hmm. SFP or RJ45 mm -hmm. in the same port number, same port number. then RJ45 uh, base T is the first priority. Okay, yeah. so the same concept to the A04. Eight SFP plus, four RJ45, and the four of them are uh, combo. So uh, based on your choice, you can choose any of the products. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, this uh, in in our US market or in Europe market, how how long we have to wait for it? To, to I think it probably in the uh, middle of next month or mm -hmm. end of next month because it, it take a shipping time. Mm -hmm. only. Of yeah. course. So uh, everyone, if you are interested in of our Q switch, mm -hmm. please uh, uh, put more focus on this or you can check with your reseller or the distributor if you are a reseller if you are a user you can just maybe check your amazon or your other like uh, online shopping mm -hmm. platform yeah and you also can check our official website to, yes. to see more detail on the spec itself of yeah. course so let's go back to our life and today this is the topic we bring for you unveiling the qsw 1208 ac the new uh, unmanaged switch from qnet so the last thing is also the most important thing is if you like our video, you can just uh, subscribe our channel and we will bring you more and more things about like uh, hardware, new products and the new, uh, new software, mm -hmm. maybe like QTS and kernel. And we will show you sometimes, we will also show you the, uh, the, the steps of how to use each of our specific app in our app center. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once again, thank you, Ken. Okay, thank, thank you, you for your clearly information and introduction of our brand new Q switch. So, QNF Live broadcast. We will see you next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye.